Kenyan cyclist Nancy Akinyi Debe has flown the national flag high in races in Kenya and abroad. She even secured a ticket to compete at the delayed 2020 Tokyo Olympics. But one of her biggest achievements is playing a role in raising the sport's profile in Kenya. NTV's Hilary Anakia caught up with the cyclist and now gives us a sneak peek into what Debe's cycling life looks like. As Kenya spreads its sports wings to make its mark in other sporting disciplines, it has been apparent that this drive has been spearheaded by individual sportsmen and women who are keen on making the country a sports haven. Top Kenyan cyclist Nancy Akinyi Debe is at the center of this revolution. Uh, I train alone. It's mostly, uh, I'd say 98%. It's me and my bike. I'm always alone training and that's, uh, it's funny that's how I enjoy it. Being um, without a team, is, is very nice for me. Uh, I'm independent and then I get the support of the IOC. Um, naturally, I think I'm, I can set a goal and just focus on it. With no centralized camp, what does training for races look like? Uh, I roam around Kenya. I'm like a nomad. So if I, if I travel to a place, I'll go with my bike and then I'll just train there. That's the beauty of cycling. You don't need uh, to go to a a particular stadium, if, even if you're alone or with a group, you can still train, and that's one of the things I like about cycling, and that's why I'm a cyclist. Nancy is securing the International Olympic Committee Solidarity Scholarship last year, alongside the tennis doubles Wimbledon champion Angela Okutoi and boxing sensation Kristin Ongare eliminates the cyclist successes. Every Olympic year, there's scholarships for all the sports, all the Olympic sports. And uh, yes, I got, uh, the last time I applied I didn't get it and this time I got it and so I have the scholarship and uh, uh, the National Olympic Committee and the Federation, they've been very nice and yeah, I get the funding and I can select a race locally or anywhere in the world and then uh, I go for it, yeah. The sport has witnessed varied fortunes. Now, the, uh, now is much better than when I started cycling. But the gap is still there. I'll, uh, I, yeah, if I'm honest, the gap is still there and it's a huge one. And so other countries, uh, let, let's say Eritrea, they are the best in Africa and uh, the culture is there. They've embraced it and that's now what's happening in Kenya. People are joining uh, in the uh, early age. So I think in the next five, six years, will be properly on the map. We will be competing, not participating, yeah. yeah. However, despite mountains of progress made in recent times, what could be holding back Kenyan cyclists from blooming to their full potential? Is it the Kenyan roads? For me, I, I'll tell you something funny. I find the pedestrian more dangerous than a car. Because of the road sense of the Kenyan pedestrians, they just... Um, uh, they just cross the road, the way they use the road, there is not much road sense in them. So I'd say, personally, my biggest threat is the pedestrian and not even a vehicle or something. After an eventful 2023, with tours in Ghana for the Continental Championship and the World Championship in Scotland, what does the new year 2024 have in store? I hope uh, to do the All-African Games. Um, to I hope to be on the podium again, like last time and maybe go one or two better because I have a bronze already, so I hope I can get a silver or a gold, yeah. Hilary Nekia, NTV Sports, Nairobi.